What's going on guys? Welcome back to Mystery Box Monday! Yes, let's start the week with a box of awesomeness! Uh, yes, you can see that there are a whole bunch of auto worlds in the box today and that is only because uh, my week has been pretty bad as far as cars go. Uh, yeah, I think there's a couple more down there as well. Um, so I, what I decided to do was I decided to grab a whole bunch of these auto worlds that I've been meaning to open for a while now and uh, yeah, I thought I'd go one for one. I open one of these and then we'll go for one of these and I think there's, yeah there we go, there's another two more down there, I can feel those down there and uh, at the end we'll have a look at something else, something else, so yeah a little tiny bit of a sneak peek for you guys so kick back, relax, go grab something to drink right now if you really want to, grab some munchies and be, yeah we're gonna crack these open and take a nice good look uh, starting with the 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited Sport. Very, very nice in blue with the white roof. And this is in Chief Blue. And we'll have a quick look at the back. Some of the other cars available. Uh, extra mumbo jumbo you can read. Uh, yeah, I got that one there. I think I got that one there. And yeah, not the entire set, but we have a lot of them. So let's just go, let's just go. Alright, hope everybody's been good lately. It's been very slow as far as Hot Wheels goes. Uh, as you can see, there's not very much there. I did find a few new Johnny Lightnings also, so we'll be able to check those ones out next week. Um, I have them currently at the store. They're on hold for me, so I'll pick them up next time I go past there. That's a very cool set. Very, very cool set, so you have to get excited for that one next week. Alright, uh, let's have a close look at this. What is that? That's just a little bit of silver paint on the front there. I do quite like the auto worlds. They've been true 164 scale. Let's see if we can open up. There we go. Check out the engine. Very cool. But for not very much light going in there because the light is kind of behind the camera. So hopefully you guys can see that a little bit better on the bigger screen. Try and move it around for you. Very cool. It does have a lot of extra painted details on the front there. Does that actually say Jeep on there? Possibly. Can't quite, can't quite read it. Anyway, let's have a look. See all the, the extra writing on the side there. The Sport, the Wrangler, these all-terrain, mud-terrain tires, I should say. Not all-terrain, they're mud-terrain. BF Goodriches with some really, really nice wheels. Such a great amount of detail on this. You get the silver on the mirrors there too. Awesome. You get a nice white stripe going on the side there with the white roof. A bit of black on the door handles, a little bit of silver on the lock. Get an orange marker on there. Go around to the front. You get the headlights, the indicators, you get the grill painted up. Very cool. Nice big bull bar on the front there. Very nice. This side is the same as the other side. And then we get around to the back and get a proper spare wheel. Get the actual, uh, what do they call those? Just, I don't know. It's just the attachment for the actual door to open, the wheel to open outwards. Uh, little lever arms, I guess you could call them. Very nice. Rear brake lights. And no actual tow hitch on this one. But well, it does get a little piece of extra metal there for some reason. Possibly for a step, but I don't know, maybe this is one of those tow bars which you can just attach it there when you need it. Oh, it even has the fuel filler cut painted. And a little bit of black on the, there as well. Awesome. And there is the base. There's not really that much information on the base, but there is a lot of detail for the casting. You get all the suspension work, you get all of the, the detail for the underside, you get transmission, all the supports. Just a really, really cool really really cool car and i like the way the castings are done all right let's get that guy out of the way and then we'll jump into this one yes the 95 oh sorry not 95 the mazda rx3 from the hot wheels drift series in lovely white with your mad mike livery all over it really really nice car and these black steely wheels are awesome no front or no rear light detailing painted on there. 
and no front detailing either, come to say, come to think of it. And yeah, just nice, nice details. Mazda and Mad Mike, get his number, get your Hot Wheels logo, got all of that. Very, very cool card art. And it's only on a short card because my luck has been very bad with Hot Wheels lately. It hasn't, I haven't very, haven't found very much at all. Like literally four cars, four or five cars is all I found over the last week. Um, up next, we have the white version of the Jeep Wrangler JK Unlimited. So we'll check this one out. This is in bright white. Very nice. Ooh, this one's actually very nice. You get a, uh, a matte roof, matte black roof on this one. Really, really cool. Kind of see inside the interior. You can actually read the details on here a little bit easier also. So very nice to have a couple of extra versions. There's some black markings on the, the bonnet there too. You can't really even notice those. Well, you can, but it's very hard. A lot harder to notice on the blue one than it is the white one. This has a black painted section as opposed to the silver se painted section on the, that other one. Get the black guards on both of them, which is really cool. I should have pointed that out, that these both have the black fender guards. Very, very cool. And I thought that because we had these two out, I would also bring in a dark blue version. Yes, and this one comes with the blacked out versions of the same wheel. All of the details seem to be exactly the same as the white one with the front there just being black with these two little holes. Are they lights or holes, I wonder? I don't know, they could be lights. I don't really know too much about Jeeps, to be honest. But there we go. Really, really lovely dark blue on this one. I'll just put them all just here in my hand. Have a little bit of a, a little bit of a look at how cool these are. Awesome. Very nice, nice shiny, light blue on this one. I do quite like this one. And then we'll go to the back. And this one here has the black spare wheel, which is very cool. They all have the same details. And yes, my choice is this one. I like this one the most out of the lot. Right, let's put these guys up there. Stop looking at the Jeeps and we'll get into something else. We will get into this guy. Yes, the Toyota AE86 Sprinter Torino, also from the Drift series. This is in black and white. Really cool. It's got a Falcon livery over the top. The last one was a light blue with a green uh, wave, or was it light blue, uh, light green and with a light blue? I don't know, I can't recall. I'll have to dig it out and see, but this is really nice also. Very cool. And there you can see on the side there, and it says 000. Is that what it says on the side there? Or is it supposed to say 086? Hmm, can't quite read that. Hmm, all right, all right, all right. Throw that away, let's just have a close look. This one says zero, zero, zero. How tiny are these wheels? They're the smallest I have ever seen these wheels. Those are like your OH5 style wheel, but they are very, very small. You the pop-up headlights. You can get all your racing details on the front there too. Awesome. Very cool, and this is right-hand drive with the one seat and get your NOS bottles in the left side. Has all your racing parts inside there. Very, very cool car. And there's the base there if you like to look at that. So yeah, it says 000 on that side, 086 on that side. Hmm. Anyway, that's a little bit strange that they have two different numbers because that definitely looks like two different numbers. That definitely looks like a zero, zero, zero. 
and that is definitely 086. Maybe that's a just a printing printing problem. All right, let's get into this guy. What's this one? Ooh, this is a big, heavy casting. This is the Ford F-150 Lariat. And this is in a abyss gray metallic. Not bad, not bad at all. Move that away, we don't need that. There's a bit of smudging on the roof there. Let's just polish that up there nicely. This color's actually very cool. It's just a flat color. No metallic in there or anything like that, but it's a very nice color indeed. And you get nice wheels on it too, which seem to have the Ford logo in the center. FX4 in the back there. Love the details. Nice clear windows, you can see inside the interior. And the F-150 on there. Big mirrors as well. These things are absolutely enormous compared to the, the stuff that we usually drive around in, in Australia. Really nice headlight details, grille details, Ford Oval. Just a really, really nicely done castings. I really do love these auto worlds. And on the back we have the embossed F-150. And this is not license plate, see? Abyss. Yeah, okay. It says Abyss, just like the color. This has the opening rear tailgate as well. Blacked bed liner, very nice. Let's see if we can open this. Let's see if we can open the bonnet up. Hmm, come on, there we go. Yay! Ooh, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna have to get a better light to aim in from this angle so we can actually see into the engines and the interiors. Hope you guys can see that on your screens. Try and move it around just a little bit so you can get a little bit more detail. But that's such a really nice looking truck that it's enormous. It's definitely too big for Australian streets, but we do have a few driving around my neighborhood actually, so I can't really say too much about them. Uh, they, are, they are actually available to buy in Australia. Maybe not the Lariat, but definitely the Ford F-150. Alright. Next up, we found the 98 Honda Prelude. This is now in lovely yellow with a black bonnet. You get your red interior. Very cool. Get a sunroof on the top. Nice white five-spoke wheels. And I like this one because it comes with the lensed headlights as well. Really nice because then they can put in the, the rear tail lights and save money that way. They should do more lensed headlights. I'm just saying. Lens headlights couldn't possibly be that hard to do if they can do them. So put them on all of the cars, or at least a lot more of the cars, because we all want the details on the front and the rear. There we go, move that around. Let's get into another one of these. All right, this is the 2019 Chevy Silverado LTZ71. Wow, <laughs> what a name, what a name. That away, whoops, bump the camera. Oh, wait, what color is this one? <coughs> Sorry about that. This is satin steel metallic. Really cool, really cool. Look at these creamy wheels. Ooh, very nice. You get sidestep on this one too, paint it up. Very cool. Oh, I love the details on the front of this. That looks really nicely done. Big Chevy bow tie, with the grill and the headlights all done. You get some little tow hooks there on the front, or oh, a lot of silver paint on the front here. Very nice. Come out to the side, we get a little bit of silver paint over the top of the mirrors. Awesome. The Z71 painted onto the top of the fender. Really cool chromey wheels. Nice detailing on the door handles. They actually look like they can actually open. Very nice. A black paint on the B pillar. Pretty cool. As I said, side step there looks very, very nice. Coming out to the back. Get a cool license plate. You get the Chevrolet embossed into there. You get extra writing there. Silverado. And 
LTZ possibly, I can't quite read that one in that small. And the bumper actually all looks really nice in this silver. A lot of detail, you can see where the exhaust pipes come out too. Very nice. This has the same colour painted bed, bed in there as the body, so very nice to see. It looks pretty cool. And we'll go around to the front and see if we can open the engine on this one. Oh, that doesn't open very far. Oh, you, there's no way you're going to be able to see in there. I can't even see in there. The engine's kind of like down below, about at this level. So that's very hard to see, especially with this not being able to open very far. All right, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'm just going to say these auto world castings are awesome. All right, let me move that guy down. All right, let's go for, there we go. Another short card. This is the 2017 Acura NSX from the Turbo Series. And look at the detail on the front of this. You get all the lighting detail, very futuristic. You get the Acura logo. Some black paint down there to give it extra detail. Nice wheels as well. They look awesome. And then in the back you get all the lighting detail. You get the rear diffuser all painted up. You get the Acura logo once again. Comes a little wing. What a cool, cool car. Ah, I really like this Acura NSX. Like, I'm a fan of the old one, but this new one, this is so cool. Definitely, definitely a very, very cool car. All right, which one will we go for? All right, let's go for this one. All right, right. this one we have the 1978 Chevy K10 Silverado Fleet Side. And this is in midnight black and red. It's pretty cool card art on that as well. Throw the rubbish away, we don't want that. And I do have another color variation of this one here also, so bear with me for a second as we look at it and we'll check out the, the blue version. Love the details on this. Once again, all the grills painted up in the silver. You get your headlights, you get your blinkers, get a license plate, get a cool silver bumper. Really nice, beautiful paint. Ooh, really beautiful red interior. I like that. You get a chrome strip down the side there. And Silverado on the side there with the old badge. Indicator on the side. Really nice old school wheels with the fat tires. And uh, this two-tone red is really, really cool. And around the back we have the silver all over the rear tailgate with the red running around the bottom there. That looks really nice. And the bumper once again being painted up in silver. That looks really, really cool. As the opening rear tailgate. Very nice. Color matched bed there. What a cool car. We get a little bit of silver paint around the door trim as well. Door handles. All of that stuff. A little bit of silver on there. That is really, really cool. And we open up the bonnet there. You got the Chevy orange engine in there. Kind of hard to see once again. Sorry for the lack of light for these. Uh, there we go. You can see the orange at least. <laughs> but wow, what a very, very cool car. Do like that. And then we'll put that on side for a second because we can just quickly check out the blue version. This is in a lovely metallic light blue. Not too sure what the color is called. Uh, the box for it, package went for it a long time ago and it has all the same details just a little bit more visible between the blue and the white comes with a white roof on this one which looks awesome blue interior and the same details same wheels and everything like that just really nice so let's put these guys next to each other awesome Turn them around there so we can get a look at the front. Very nice. Very cool. I do quite like these. They look really nice. Put these guys over there. Uh, the last, uh, the last Hot Wheels that we have today is the Pontiac 2006 Pontiac GTO. 
and there is a short card and a long card version. So I'm very, very, very happy to find these. I found these both on the same day in different stores. But you get the nice burnt orange colour, you get the wheelie bars at the back, you get the skinny wheels in the front, the fats on the back there. Just really nice. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you know that in Australia we had the Holden Monaro, which is what this is. This Pontiac GTO is actually an Australian car, just for anybody that doesn't doesn't actually know that. So yeah, check out the Holden Monaro from this same era, and you'll see that they are 100% identical. Uh, or, well, they're they're an identical car, obviously, but the American version comes with this Pontiac-style front end and a few little design additions and stuff like that. So yeah, very nice to have these in the collection. Put those guys down there. And then all we've got left is Auto Worlds. So let's get rid of the box, because the box is taking up too much room. And let's just see what we have. Let's see what we have, because we're going to open all of them. So, got some Johnny Lightnings, and we have one last Auto World, which is the Chevy Silverado LT, oh sorry, Chevy Silverado Z71 Custom Trail Boss in a really, really deep, deep, deep Cajun Red Metallic. And I have to say that this is probably my favorite color I think I've seen. I've never seen a, an Auto World uh, uh, Ultra Red, that's what they're called, isn't it? Ultra Reds? No, it doesn't, doesn't actually say, or well, maybe it does. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're called an Ultra Red. I've never seen one of those, so. Um, I'm sure those reds are nice, but this is a really, really nice colour. So, uh, yeah, let's crack it open. Let's check it out. Oh, that, that went pretty far, that throw. <laughs> really, really deep, deep red. Kind of like a really deep candied red. Some blacked out five-spoke style wheels. Very cool. Uh, the Z71 on the side there again, like the mirrors are done. You get black paint all around the, the windows, that's pretty nice. Black door handles, you get black side step, all your details painted on the front. You get red toe hooks on this one. Very cool. You see Chevrolet embossed in the front grill. Doesn't have a bow tie, just has the, the name in the grill. And the headlights and blinkers are done there. Really cool. Wow, this colour is just so nice. So nice. Oh, you get black paint around the top of your bed. Very cool. And back of the tray. And a black bumper with some chrome exhaust tips. Very cool. Let's see, Silverado, Custom, Chevrolet, in Boston there, and a little black uh, door handle. That's very nice. Opening rear tray. Very cool. Let's see if we can open the bonnet for this one and see if we can actually see into it. Hmm. Very hard to see. Once again, the engine in this is so far below the engine bay. Like I can put my whole finger in there and it goes down and disappears into the engine bay. So maybe you guys can see it. But it looks like there's nothing in there on the, on the actual screen that I'm looking at. So, wow, that's awesome. And once again, we have another version. So we have a white version. This is in a pearl white metallic. So you can see that they are the same car, or the same truck, I should say. Just having a nice new color variation of this one. The tailgate on this one likes to stay open. Doesn't, doesn't close up very much. It's just really, really cool. Really cool. So let's put these guys down here as well. And which ones will we open? Which ones will we open? Let's just open. We'll save the Corvette to last. We'll open up this one. The Studebaker Avanti. Supercharged. And take note of this car here because at the end of this little look, we're going to have a look at the, this color and it is not in a Johnny Lighting. Uh, this is also one of 2000, so very nice. And the green mist poly. Ooh, very cool. 
Right, this is the back of this one. Very nice. Wow. This color is really nice. You can get yourself the uh, nice tan leather interior, light tan leather interior. Authentic wheels, very nice. You get your chrome bumpers, paint light, painted headlights. Here they are, silver surround, very cool. You get the uh, Avanti uh, thing on the front there. I'm not entirely sure exactly what that is, to be honest. If you guys know what that is, if it's anything specific or does anything, let me know. It's with all the chrome trim around the window too. It's Studebaker logo just behind the uh, window there. Very nice, next to the fuel cap. Painted up door handles. These wheels are great with the white wall tire. Come out to the back there. Got a license plate. Wow, all your lighting details are all painted up. Just an incredibly cool looking styling on this car. And this wheel's a little bit wobbly by the looks of it. Oh yeah, there's the base as well. I always forget to show you the base. I've really got to start remembering the base. Hey, we get a little bit of extra paint on there. Nice. Cool. What a really cool looking car. And there's the interior, left hand drive. Awesome. Let's see if we can open this. I can't remember which way this opens. Pretty sure it goes this way. Let's just get into this one. There we go. This is the other one I was going to show. This one's made by Franklin Mint. So there we go, we can actually see the engine in this one. So now that we know which, which way it goes, we need to find something to jam under it. Oops. And hopefully I'll be able to open it. No, this one does not want to open. Oh, there we go. Got it. We got it. Yes. And that's as far as it goes. So I'm sorry, guys. It looks really cool, but it doesn't open very fast. So let's put this one down. Put that guy there. And yeah, let's have a check out of this one. You can see that the wheels are the same style of wheel. Very, very cool. These ones here are authentic wheels, obviously. Also with the white wall. This comes with an opening door with the interior. All the door cards and everything are all painted up. All the dashboard is all painted up. It's a very, very cool car. Come around to the back, we get all these same details. And there's the base of this one. A lot of extra bits and pieces. Um, the mirrors unfortunately broke off somewhere over the years. And there's the front there, you get your lensed headlights on this one. Oh wait, they're, they're not, sorry, my mistake, they're not lensed, they're just very shiny, they look lensed. You get this wood ornament style thing as well. And there's the engine there. Really, really cool. So I hope that, hope that suits you guys. I hope you hope you enjoy that that little bit. I, I don't bring these out very often but these are amongst my oldest and favorite car collectibles. So very very cool to have that. Anyway, we're half an hour in. Let's get cracking. Just a couple of cars left. Just a couple of cars left. And we have oh sorry guys. I'm sorry. A Aegean Aqua Poly and this is the 1970 Olds Cutlass 442 Convertible. Also, um, this colour is really, really nice with the white and black interior. Wow, that looks very cool. Very nice. Love those wheels. This is such a cool car. All your white striping along the side there. All your details all painted up the 442 on the side. Marker lights. Oh, even the even the uh, bumpers all painted up nicely as well. The grills all done. The 442 on the front there. The white stripes with your on your uh, nostril scoops. You get some hood pins. All the lighting detail. Wow. And this blue and silver wheels looks great. Such a 
cool looking car. Those are some really wide tyres too. And on the back there we get all the lights and the license plate. I just can't get over how good these Auto Worlds and Johnny Lightnings are compared to Hot Wheels. Like I know that they're a lot more expensive but these are so cool. Can we actually open this? Oh, no. This does not have an opening feature. I'm sorry guys. Really cool Firestone wheels. Wow, no opening feature but that's awesome. That is really cool. Set that guy there, set that guy there. The last two cars. Ooh, very nice. Wow. Uh, we'll do that one last. We'll go with the 1969 Chevy Corvette ZL1 in this beautiful, beautiful Monaco orange color. Wow. Once again, also a convertible. One of 2,834. Get that down there. Throw Ooh, this is nice. Get a black interior, get a, some silver paint over the window. That's really nice. You don't get that on that one. And these really cool Corvette wheels as well. Oh, that's nice. Sting around the side there where the vents are. Get a door lock painted on there. There's the pop-up headlights. You get a, the Corvette flags on the front. Extra lighting detail. And, all your bumpers all painted up there too. Oh, this is really cool. This side is the same as the other side. These chrome bumpers look awesome. And then the classic rear end of the Corvette. That's really nice. Got a license plate on this one as well. I can't quite read that, but I think that says Macacken. The Macacken. I think I think it's just got one of those on it. A really I can't read that, that's so tiny. Very cool, you get your exhaust out the side, at the back there as well. Wow. And you all know that I'm a big fan of Corvettes. There we go, there's the Corvette flags on the fuel cap. Even get some silver dots there for where the roof would go and get attached to. Ah, silver paint on there on the little scoop, on the little vents. Let's see if we can open this guy up. Come on. I don't want to force it, that's the thing. Mm. Nope. Oop, there we go, I think I just loosened it up. Come on. No. I'm sorry guys, I can't force that one open. Possibly I can open it up on Ah, oh, there we go. Just push it nice and hard on the front. There we go, releases the catch. Check out the engine in this. Wow. That's really cool. Come on, focus. Oh, look at that. Yes, I'm glad that we waited to open this one up. That is really, really cool. All right, guys. There's only one car left, so let's get into it. Yes, it is the 1973 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am. One of my all-time favorite cars. I love this car so much. Uh, I, I will probably try and find another one of these if I can because I'd like to keep one on a card. And this is in a Brewster Green. Hmm. Kind of looks black, but it's a very, very dark green. Awesome. I have the card art on that. And there we go. You can see that it is actually green. That looks awesome. You get some green around the flaming chicken on the front there. <laughs> or the firebird, whichever one you want to call it. Oh, really nice details on the front there. Get your blinkers painted on there too. Headlights from grill and all that are painted up very nicely. These side details. Trans Am on the side there. How cool are these wheels? That's nice. Try and keep this in focus because it keeps going out of focus. Get a, a leather interior. That's pretty cool. Oh, these wheels look nice. They look like the Kragers, old school Krager wheels. On the back there we have Pontiac Trans Am and the rear brake lights, reverse lights hang on there. Yes, it's the same, same little logo. So it's a Macacken license plate which is very cool. 
Very cool. Nice silver paint around the windows and the doors. Wow, this is really cool. You got your shaker hood on there as well. Oh, this is awesome. Let's see if we can open this guy up. There we go. That was a lot easier. Oh wow, this is in blue. Can't really open it up very far. Hard to see, but it's blue. It's blue. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. All right, there we go, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Had to, didn't have very much in the way of actual Hot Wheels this week, unfortunately. It was a lot harder. To, let's put this guy out of the way. It doesn't really count as far as today's show goes. Uh, no, we'll just leave that guy there. All right. Oh, that's right. I almost forgot. Almost forgot the last item. Yes, I finally got the Majorette Vintage Rusty Gift Pack. Majorette since 1964. And you get the Mustang, you get the Beetle, you get the Toyota Celica, you get the uh, uh, the Renault Turbo, and you get the rusty old Volkswagen panel van. Really cool, you get a Celica on the front there as well. Uh, yeah, 30 bucks, so not a bad deal. For the five cars, they're about $6 each anyway. And there we go, there's the back there. So I'm incredibly, incredibly happy to have this in my set. I have no idea how happy I am to have this, so put that guy up the back there. And uh, yeah, that's it for today, guys. Hopefully next week we'll be able to find something a little bit more to to make up for the lack of cars this week. Like there was literally just, what was it? One, two, three, four, five cars. There we go, five cars. That was it. That was all I found. Obviously I found two of the same one, so yeah, it wasn't wasn't that bad being able to get these. Like, I'm very, very, very happy to have these in my collection. Uh, so until next week, hope you all have some better luck than I did this week. I hope you're getting out there, collecting, doing all, doing all that you like to do. And yeah, until next week, take care, sir. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I will see you all then. Bye.